Hi, I'm Katherine Turner. I am the Idaho Deputy State Epidemiologist, and this is my story from the field about our adoption of electronic case reporting for MISC. MISC is Multi-System Inflammatory Syndrome in Children. That's what the C stands for. And what this is, is it's a post-infection inflammatory response to the virus that causes COVID-19. Idaho is one of a few states that doesn't have hospital discharge data, and we don't have a statewide hospital data system. Lucky for us, we had implemented electronic case reporting. And what that meant was for the hospitals in Idaho that had implemented electronic case reporting, we would be able to get those diagnoses um, automated and in a timely way. Before electronic case reporting, we would get a huge medical chart faxed to us, or we might get a phone call from a physician. But what that requires is that somebody's getting pulled away from um, patient care in order to report to public health and we all have electronic systems. So then that manual, undigitized information has to then be digitized somehow, which if it's electronic, it literally comes into our system and it, it's in that user interface within the electronic system and that, that epidemiologist or disease investigator can see it readily. They don't have to try to interpret, you know, handwritten notes or, um, you know, smeared fax print they're actually able to do public health practice instead of that work. They can actually reach out to those patients. They can follow up with partners. They can talk to parents of kids in some cases and really do the public health intervention and the public health education. That is the really why we're doing this. We're not doing this to collect data. We're doing this to do public health practice. One of the um, future prospects for data modernization is our ability to send data to CDC in a more timely and efficient way. Um, I think that over the past three years, we've come to understand that um, sharing data at different levels of government really needs to be efficient and timely. We follow up, we do the interventions, we're the ones reaching out to the patients, but it's really critically important for us to share it with the federal government as well so they know what's going on nationwide. I, I think there's nowhere but to go but up from here. Um, we're super thankful for the funding that we have received for data modernization. It's been a long time in coming and I'm really glad that at the federal level they were listening to public health and, and recognized the need for it. Technology and innovation is, is constantly feeding upon itself. Um, we don't have the same cell phones that we had 20 years ago. We don't even have the same cell phones we had five years ago because technology continues to improve and it's no different in public health. The systems and the processes we use in public health are gonna have to continue to be innovative and move forward and it's gonna take ongoing funding to sustain all of those activities in a non-disease specific way. Thank you.